Hi guys, welcome to Only Match Tutorial Point. Today we are going to deal with chapter progressions of class 10th XA 6.2. Okay. So in the previous video we covered second sum rate of XA 6.2. Now we are going to deal with third sum of same XA. So what is given? Find the respective terms for the following APs. So they gave total 5 questions. So see the first one. First T term, T1 term, first term is given as A1 equal to 2, A3 in nothing but third term, T3 or A3 in nothing but 26. They are asking to find the second term. They gave first term and third term. They are asking to find the second term. As I said in the previous video that if we know the first term and the common difference, d value then you can find any value in the given series right but in this they are asking to find the a2 also nothing but second term but for our opinion we need to find even common difference d also if you if you know the d value then only you can able to find second term right so let's start the sum first mention what is given in the question so given that first term t1 or a1 equal to 2 t3 or a3 equal to 26 first term and third term they are asking to find the second term so your d value is not there so we need to find even d value also common difference okay right on the formula so what is general term or nth term of an ap nothing but tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d okay here t1 equal to Okay, first term is already given as 2 here, guys. So, no need of doing simplification here. If you substitute in the formula also, you will get the same. So, first term is given as 2. So, keep it as equation 1. So, coming to third term. So, T3 is given as 26, right? So, in place of T3, mention 26 and substitute the values in the formula. A plus N minus 1 into D. A value, we know, in the, know as 2. And n value is 3 because tn here n value is given as 3 so n minus 1 nothing but 3 minus 1 and d value we don't know we need to find so simplify 26 equal to 2 plus 3 minus 1 into d nothing but 2d so 2 plus 2d equal to 26 so translate the transpose the terms from here uh, left to left hand side to right hand side so that d will be subject find the value of d okay so from 2, from equation 2, shift D the terms to RHS. So make D a subject and find the value of D. So 2D equal to 26 minus 2, nothing but 24. Therefore D equal to 24 by 2 in nothing but 12. Therefore D equal to 12. So now we got D value and we know the A value, right? A1, T1 value. Then we can find any term, guys. Okay. Now what to find here? T2 or A2. So T2 value is A plus N minus 1 into D. Or we can write in another way. The formula is A plus N is 2, right? So 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1D. So you can write T2 in nothing but A plus D also. Okay. Substitute the values. A value is 2 d value we got as 12 therefore 14 therefore t2 or a2 equal to 12 sorry 14 second term is 14 guys okay i hope you understand this sum in the next video we are going to cover the remaining sums thank you for watching